We're going to speak about spreadsheets. In the realm of accounting jargon, a spreadsheet or spreadsheet was a large sheet of paper with columns and rows where every data about transactions of a business was represented to be examined by a person. It spread or showed all the costs, income, taxes, etc. on a single sheet of paper for a manager to look at when making decisions. A spreadsheet software is an interactive computer application for the organization, analysis and storage of data in tabular form. Spreadsheets were developed as computerized simulations of paper accounting worksheets, but they have become much more. The program operates on data represented as cells of an array, organized in rows and columns. Each cell of the array is an element that may contain either numeric or text data or the results of formulas that automatically calculate and display a value based on the contents of other cells. Lotus 123 or VisiCalc are examples of the first spreadsheet applications in personal computers. In modern spreadsheets, the basics are the same. An empty sheet consists on a set of cells in an array organized in rows and columns. The header of columns are letters and rows are numbered. You can also configure the program to have both numbered. In that way, each cell as an intersection of a letter column and a number row is uniquely identified by its address consisting of column row that is letter number of, or number number. The files usually called books, can contain several sheets, several uh, different worksheets organized in different tabs. Data or information is entered in cells, it can be numeric values, sales, prices, measurements from an experiment, and, or it can, they can be text information uh, that can be used for labeling, for example, month articles, or as data itself. Uh, cities, postal addresses, whatever. You can also find another type of data that are dates. They are stored as numbers but they are treated as a different type of data because the functions you use to process it are different. The real power of the program is its ability to perform different operations, for example arithmetic financial, statistical, search ones, text manipulation with the data stored in cells and ch changing in real time. You can do that by introducing a, formul a formula in a cell whose content is no more a type value but the result of applying certain operations to the values contained in other cells. In the most common spreadsheet applications a formula in a cell always starts with a mathematical symbol, a plus sign and equal symbol, and that's followed by the arithmetic operation needed or the function needed, constructed by a combination of numbers, mathematical operators, predefined functions, and cell addresses. When you introduce the formula, as I have told you, the result is immediately calculated and the value is displayed on the cell. Uh, but the content of the cell is always the formula, not the value of the final result. It's a calculated value. What makes spreadsheets a very powerful tool for what-if analysis? Since you can very easily change the starting values and immediately obtain the new results on the calculated ones. You can also manage complex scenarios with different uh, func functions that help you. You, you. you have usually goal-seeking options uh, to automate repetitive processes, to look for a goal, to see different, to store different possibilities and compare them and things like that. A basic arithmetic operation can be 
constructed using the, its respective symbols, for example, plus for adding, minus for subtracting, asterisk for multiplying, and bar for dividing. You can also use potentiation, uh, and these operations uh, uses the common rules uh, when different uh, operators are used in the same application. If you want to change the order in which these operations are applied, you have to use parentheses. Uh, one important thing to know about uh, spreadsheets is that cell references are by default relative. That means that when you copy a formula to another cell, the references to other cells included in that formula change to point to the cells that are in the same relative position to the cell of the formula. With this, you can add very easily formulas to analyze sets of data organized in rows by copying the formula from the first row into the new rows and it applies to the new values. If you move the formula, uh, instead of copying it, the uh, formula is not changed. You can also uh, use absolute uh, cell reference. If you, need any, if you need that any cell reference in the formula stays fixed when copying it, you can use what is called an absolute reference. The usual convention is to put a dollar symbol just before the part of the address of the cell that we want to become absolute. You can use also mixed reference with absolute column, uh, relative uh, row, both absolute, uh, uh, the other way around. Uh, so uh, you can study very well the formula you are using, so when you copy it to other cells, you don't have to modify it to relate to the data set that you want it to, to relate when you copy it. Uh, spreadsheets also include uh, functions, uh, predefined functions, but you also can construct your own functions. They, they have a reset word for, it, for them and you can use them in formulas. You will find mathematical functions, sum, product, square root, logarithm, factorial, trigonometric, sine, cosine, tangent, statistical, average, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, financial, pain for a loan, interest rate, text manipulating, concatenate, extract, uh, character, modify, logic, if, not, comparison, equal, not equal, search that let you search in columns or in rows, so you can construct very potent tools to analyze data. You can also find in them tools to manage uh, data as complete uh, tables, for example to sort it, to filter it, to calculate subtotals, to search and replace content in a set of data that is considered as a whole table. You, you, are, you are also going to find uh, tools to create easily charts with the data you have in cells. Uh, this is very useful to illustrate trends, compare variables or graphically show the behavior of a variable over time. Uh, main predefined charts are column, bar, pie, line and scatter charts, but you can also personalize these charts to your needs. Uh, you will also find pivot tables with charting capabilities. These pivot tables can automatically sort, count totals or give the average or, of the data stored in one table or spreadsheet, complete spreadsheet, and display the results in a second table that changes in real time and gives you the summarized data so you can uh, even more easily make what if scenarios, uh, uh, interpret the data in one way or another, uh, summarize it, etc. As word processors, you will have more functions. Modern spreadsheets also include formatting and automation tools to enhance 
the presented results and its repetitive work. We will usually have access to different formats for numbers, decimal place, thousand separations, currency symbols, percentage, fractions, whatever. Uh, cell formatting capabilities, borders, form selections, colors, alignments, conditional formats to change the color or, or the borders of a cell uh, depending on its value. You will also find templates, search and replace content tools, spelling reviews and language support, macro programming for process automation, uh, the possibility to extend functionality with plugins, for example, for statistical ana analysis, and even in some of the spreadsheet applications, these uh, macro programming capabilities uh, are uh, supported by a programming language with object uh, managing, uh, with some kind of object-oriented programming that let you make uh, personalized applications. So, what's the conclusion? The conclusion is that uh, spreadsheets rule the world. Spreadsheets have become irreplaceable tools when data needs to be analyzed or summarized and you're going to find it in every office where decisions has, have to be taken.